Hello friends, so now in this video I am going to show you how we can perform view card page and last video we already show how we can create add to card so first of all we have to open our demo.php and then we have to save as view underscore card.php now we we in design we have ordered this uh, shopping cart page so first of all we have to open that we are going to take a look how it looks so i open my folder and from here i'm going to open this design yeah we have this design so we are going to use the same design so from our page we are going to run here okay so from our page we are going to remove this slider so we are going to remove these things then we don't need this delivery section service section so we are going to remove that also now from here we need the shopping cart session and this is the chart we need these two things so I'm going to open it and we have to find that part shopping cart yeah this one I'm going to copy this part and here we are going to paste it then this is our chart section that also we are going to copy these things we are going to copy and here we are going to paste now okay when we are getting this type of problem it means we forget to take js file so from here i am going to copy this js file and inside the view card page we are going to paste so now you can see we can see here perfectly now we have to load data from our session so first of all we are going to clean this yeah this is perfect and now here we have to load our data so first of all from index file we have to add some data in card add to card and now i am going to open view card now we are going to perform here our things so for this perform i think in last video we have created test.php this is most important now here so you need that file before that in from video description i attach this txt file from this txt file you need to copy this function please find in video description that file we can add here and in above we are going to include connection file and here we need to do session start okay now this header will remain same only just this tr will loop in our code so i start php and end php now our test.php
we have to copy this and here we have to paste and now in place of this we have to cut this part and we have to paste here only simple things now we are going to run and we are going to check there is any error or not so right now not error so up to here your code is okay or not for testing purpose here you have to add one more product in card now let's check we have two product in card that's why we can see a two entries this is the static data right now that's why you can see the same value but now we are going to make it dynamic but up to here everything is fine now here we have to add more columns first of all i am going to take img I need to declare this variable img1 then we need nm that already we have this then we need price then quantity total session that we have already then We need table ID session and we need unit session. Now we only take here ING, then we have name also, then we need price. So here we are going to take price. Okay, we take price. Now we need quantity total that we have already. Now we need TBID. And now we need unit. Okay, so we take all the values inside the session. Now, inside this ING SRC, first we are going to change image path dot dot slash admin slash. And now we are going to write here our session variable value dollar IMG session. And now we are going to check we got our image or not. So here you can see we are getting our image here. Now we need to display here our food title. In a underscore session. Now here we need to display price. Price session. And now here inside the value QTY total session and here we need to give ID eco dollar i that we need to use on next video but we are going to take here equal dollar i then here price here we have to use dollar price session multiply by dollar quantity session now let's check here so here you can see 
we got here quantity and price now i am going to update this so we are going to add more quantity this one and let's check i feel something problem let's check here no it's fine so we have right now one quantity on punjabi sabji so i'm going to add three more so now here we should got four we can see so this is fine now here we have to make subtotal and run total so for the run total we are going to take here variable Now we have to declare this variable. We don't need this apply coupon. We don't need this apply coupon. So So you can see we are getting here the run total over here. Now we already added this function, so we have to use this function. Before this set sum, here we have to write condition. If greater than zero, it means there is available quantity in chart, then and then we have to display here. otherwise in else we have to give error no quantity available in track right now we have quantity that's why we are not getting that message otherwise you will get that message and we have to add one more condition before this tr Here we have to write the condition like if dollar ing session not equal to blank and dollar ing session not equal to null. Then and then we have to display this. And here we can take one variable count also. Dollar count is equal to dollar count plus one. Okay, we are going to cut this line and we can paste here. So everything will be remain at same place. So now up to here, everything is fine. 
now in next video i am going to show you how we can edit and delete chart and this button is not visible so how we can visible this button so we are going to perform that things on next video please download one file from video description so you will get this function from that link so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it share it and subscribe it thank you so much